College Success Arizona presents student stories. The feature of the following story and interview is Sarah Hernandez. I was born here in Arizona in Phoenix, and I've lived here all my life. And where did you attend school? Where did you graduate from high school? I went to Carl Hayden High School, and I graduated there in the class of 2012. How old are you currently? I am 21. And what is your course of study? Where are you attending school? Right now, I am at the University of Arizona, and I am majoring in microbiology and hoping to go to pharmacy school. So you're going to graduate with a bachelor's in microbiology some point this year? Yes, I'm going to graduate December. And then immediately into graduate school? I'm going to um, I'm going to apply to pharmacy school this year. Is pharmacy school hard to get into? Yes. The University of Arizona only takes in 100 people per year, and over 2,000 people apply. The U of A takes in 100 people and over 2,000 apply. That's like 1 in 20. Mm-hmm. Wow. And I've heard over the years from people who, pharmacists, I guess, they say it's an extremely difficult course. Yeah, it is. And I'm really hoping to get in and everything that I've done I hope that helps. Now, if you don't get into the U of A, are there other pharmacy schools you could apply to, or then do you just hope to get in the following year? I'm also going to apply to other schools in California as well as uh, Midwestern here in Phoenix. Why the interest in becoming a pharmacist? When I was younger, like, I remember going, we would always be at the pharmacist because my dad has really bad lung problems, and I learned that those were the people who research and like make the medicines and stuff like that to make people better. And I wanted to be a part of that research and to make medicine to help people and help families um, keep their loved ones. So I guess the next question, what do you hope to do as a pharmacist? Do you want to be a retail pharmacist or you're, you want to be a researcher because you're talking about research? I want to be a researcher. And is there any particular area of medicine in terms of, I guess, researching for a cure for something or a treatment for something that interests you? That's a hard one. There's like so, I want to do so much, but I think right now would be like trying to help with like anything with the lungs because it's been a very prevalent thing in my family as well as cancers, like lung cancer. Pulmonology. Yes. Gotcha. Okay. So you're really driven by uh, the desire to help people who suffer from lung conditions or cancers that have been, like you said, prevalent and, and hit your family over the years. Talk about growing up in Phoenix and uh, attending school. Where I grew up, I grew up in West Phoenix. It was really hard. Not a lot of people graduated from my class, and not a lot of my classmates got the opportunity to go to go to college. So it's been a really big privilege to be able to do everything that they couldn't do. And I hope that through what I do, like inspires the younger generations that are here to to seek out help. It's not like a big I feel like a lot of people in my community are very prideful and they want to seek out help and look for scholarships and stuff like that because they feel like it's a handout. But I feel like if they see that I did it, they can see like the different opportunities that are out here and they would want to do more for our community. Who was it or what was it that compelled you to pursue a college education versus other people in your area, your neighborhood, who didn't? I was in a program called Gear Up at Crowden and we got mentors. And my mentor, her name is Alexis Trojillo. She would talk to me about, like, when she went to, when she was in college, because she was tutoring at our school and attending Arizona State University. So she would tell me about it. And I would tell her, well, like, I don't have enough money to go, and I don't know anything about college. So she, like, told me that not having enough money wasn't a good enough excuse not to go to school. And it was more of, like, a reason why I should go to school to help and to and to keep pushing forward because there's going to be a bunch of limits and obstacles in our way, but we should keep going through. And what were the biggest challenges of college itself? One of my biggest challenges was actually finding my way. So after I graduated uh, from high school, I went to the univers- I went to Phoenix College for two years and got my associates. So then after that, I needed to figure out how I was going to keep going to school. So I got really involved at Phoenix College. I was a student ambassador and I was a executive a member of their student council. And then I became a STEM scholar. And through all of that, I met so many amazing people that helped me figure out a plan to get to the University of Arizona. And uh, through all that, they 
it was kind of like networking that they helped me find new new people at the university to help me keep going. And at this point, to go on through uh, pharmacology school, pharmacy school, do you get a doctorate if you want to be a researcher? You get a degree called the PharmD, which is kind of like a doctorate, but it's more so for a pharmacist. And what do you say to the young people back in West Phoenix? You talked about it earlier in this conversation who may be considering their own college experience and path. What advice can you impart to those young folks? I would say to keep pushing is it's going to be worth it at the end. I know that through my time of transitioning and finding my way as well as like transferring over, it's been a bumpy course. But if there's a will, there's a way. But if there's not, you'll find an excuse. And at what point did you become familiar with College Success Arizona? In high school, we had a group called Gear Up that would talk to us about college, and they worked with College Arizona, and that's how I found out about that scholarship, and that's how I got to be a part of it. And Matt Sotelo, Matthew Sotelo is your success advisor, basically your mentor who works with you throughout your college experience. Talk about your relationship and experience with Matt. Matt's a really cool guy. Um, he gets actually my third advisor from transferring. I got, every time I transferred over, I got a new one. So when I came to, to U of A, he became my advisor, and he's been really helpful. I know when anything goes wrong with school, he'll, like, answer the phone, and he'll talk me through it. Or if I'm just having, like, or if I have anything, like, great to tell him, like, he's very encouraging, and he helps me to keep going and stuff like that. Um... He's a really personal guy, and he's really funny. And if I have a problem with school, like he's really like relatable, and he tells me advice on how to get through it. And the scholarship provides up to six thousand dollars per year for academic expenses, educational expenses. Has it been helpful in limiting student debt for you? Yes. If I didn't have that scholarship, school wouldn't be possible for me. My parents, when I graduated from high school, they told me that they would want me to go to. A university, but there was no way that they could help me at all, so I had to find my own way. So that with that scholarship, I was able to get to college and continue my education, and I'm very thankful for that. And how has college changed you? Coming from, like you said, the west side of Phoenix, Carl Hayden High School, where not everybody even graduates high school, let's, let alone goes on to college, how has this experience changed you or helped to mature you? It opened a brighter like view on life. I met so many people. I met so many people through different walks of life. I learned that through my journey, I'm not alone as well. Um, there's a lot of people that are at school that are struggling that come from different backgrounds, some backgrounds such like mine and other people that, that were better off. But we're all in it together, and if, through it, it's been really great. I learned through my struggles. I found my strengths, and um, I couldn't have been, been any happier to go to college. Like It's been a really great eye-opening experience for me. Thank you, Sarah, for the interview and for working so hard to make a difference in our community.